NGO group Kami Takna Incinerator KTI or We Don't Want Incinerator and Persatuan Taman Residents has raised concerns over pollution and health risks over the 800 million ringgit incinerator project in Kapong. KTI Chairman Lee Chongtek said over 10,000 residents living in the vicinity will be affected if the proposed incinerator is not maintained or managed properly. The report if says that the Secara keseluruhan, pengurusan TPS tapak perlupusan sisa adalah kurang memuaskan. Um, this report, uh, this audit team, they went to audit 12 out of 47 uh, TPS projects. So, they just, they just did the um, sampling, the kind of thing. But they found that overall, the operation was not really, really satisfying. And also, they found that the majority of them, they didn't <coughs> follow strictly SOP, the standard operating procedure, Garis Pandon, and also um, international standards set by Jika, which is Japanese standard. He said the incinerator at Panko Island was cited as an example in the report as being poorly managed, resulting in termination of the contractor. Lee said residents will seek a court injunction if they are not given a written assurance that the project will be pollution-free. Meanwhile, Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government Minister Dato Abdul Rahman Dahlan says the ministry is open for more public engagement to ally residents' fears. He reiterated the incinerator, which can handle 1,000 tonnes of garbage a day, is an alternative to using landfills to deal with growing problems of the city's increasing garbage.